Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a review of a brand new fragrance that I got for my birthday and I love it so so much. Me and my husband went like perfume shopping and I was in Phoenix in Newcastle and we're just smelling loads of different perfumes and for some reason this one really stood out to me and it's not one that I would usually say would really like take me fancy but I love it so so much it's quite a simple pretty fruity floral and I think it's perfect for this time of the year so i had to show you it it's by bdk and it's a bouquet de hongri and i'm just so so happy to have it guys i love it so so much it's a simple type of fragrance that just smells really pretty and classy and understated and just so gorgeous i'm loving it so so much but i don't usually go for like fruity floral fragrances but this is just so so nice and i think it would be like the perfect everyday fragrance this is it right here look at the color of the juice i think that's so pretty and that colour is what I really think of when I smell this fragrance. It definitely brings like pink to mind because it is a very pretty girly fragrance I would say and I'm sorry guys but I am so hot today. It's really really warm here in the UK and for some reason the sun just blaze through my windows where I film and it's so, so hot. So you'll have to excuse it. But this is all about the sort of situation that they were thinking when they created this fragrance. Is a woman getting up in the morning and getting dressed at a beautiful dressing table she's got stunning flowers on the dresser and she's sitting putting on a powder and a lipstick and you get those sort of makeup smells and then she slips on the most beautiful dress and stunning heels and it's a beautiful day outside and she goes to the balcony and she stands and the balcony overlooks the Palais Royal and there's loads of flowers surrounding her and that's the backstory of this fragrance that's what they thought about when creating it and it really does make you think of that like a really girly girl getting ready for the day she's surrounded by flowers and just it's like a really magical pretty uplifting floral scent and i love it so so much it's got a really like watery vibe to it which i adore so much it's so so good this one has a lot of fruity notes in the top it's got pear and black currant and strawberry and it gives it that really juicy vibe and i love the opening to this fragrance it's super juicy and super watery and it's like mouth watering i really think it's stunning and then in the mid we have rose sambac jasmine and lorinox and then in the base there's musk cedar and amber 
and all those notes mixed together just gave the most beautiful fruity floral dreamy girly sophisticated fragrance and you know what that's not the type of fragrance that i usually go for but this one i love i think it would be the perfect signature scent it does remind me a little bit of chanel tondra it gives us that sort of vibe but for me this one is better than that and i'm just adoring it so so much i can't believe i've actually got it because i've been looking for a fragrance that's good for like the spring and summer time that i could wear it's like an everyday fragrance because I think my spring and summer collection is lacking a bit. I've noticed that I've got loads and loads of fragrances that are more sort of geared towards the autumn and winter time and not a whole lot of spring and summer fragrances. So I was looking for something that I really, really love, especially for like the summer time. I'm going to spray this on because I love it so, so much it's so beautiful and bright and refreshing and just gorgeous i don't know what else to say i just love this one so much if you're thinking that this is going gonna be something like totally different and unique it's definitely not it's quite a simple beauty in my opinion it's very relaxed and understated and it makes me think of a woman that doesn't need to make too much fuss. She's classy in the most sophisticated way without having to make too much of an effort. That's exactly what I think of when I think of this fragrance. So I had to share it with you. You've probably all smelled something similar to this. But for me, this is the best version of this type of fruity floral fragrance that I've ever smelled. I think it's absolutely stunning. For me, it lasts quite well on the skin. I wouldn't say that it's really, really long lasting. I'd say around five hours. But it does project nicely and you leave a lovely feminine trail, which I adore so, so much. So this is something quite different in my collection, something that I wouldn't usually go for. And I'm so, so glad to have it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you've tried this one and what you think of it i also tried quite a few of the other bjk fragrances and i loved rouge smoking and there was another one that i really liked as well and i can't remember which one it was but i just think that this it was the standout to me it was something different that i didn't have in my collection and it filled that gap from a beautiful floral for the summer time and i love it so much so yeah definitely leave us a comment let me know your favorite bdk fragrance and also if you enjoyed the video give us a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i really really appreciate it and i'll see you all very very soon on the next one bye